receiver and uh, 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 our uh, safety or cornerback shove you out of bound. It's not a catch. That's why football is like a gazillion dollars. Hello. <laughs> you know, there's a price tag with that. Okay, I gotta go get my uh, sink, so don't forget to... Oh, shit, this is like... I don't want to... <laughs> it's a nice, uh, really tough shopping bag and a lot of storage. I'm making a commercial. <sighs> Somebody rejected me investing and gave me uh, my starter package. Like, I just want to order 100 shirts and market them and test marketing. Uh, eventually... I'm gonna license the logo out and maybe for like organic foods to be distributed like Sprouts or uh, even Walmart because uh, everybody is organic conscientious. I'm not talking about bullshit organic. I'm talking about like really uh, I have connection source to get uh, mountain grown tea that are not sprayed with pesticides. You don't want freaking pesticides spraying your leaves and then you uh, harvest them and uh, bleh, you know when you drink them all that water is gonna disperse all the pesticide in your system which uh, in turns that makes us all dumbed down and therefore we're giving away free touchdowns because oh they really tried this is what happened with communism uh is that the so-called pc they dictate to us instead of what's a reality you see what i'm saying the reality like what uh i was telling you trey gowdy the best of the best the cream of the cream he was the best prosecutor from south carolina senator from south carolina but uh he was in the bank intelligent com committee with the benghazi uh he shamed and not just shamed he's able to prove dissect piece by piece dismantled this clinton hillary clinton and obama at that time during the obama uh still uh you know that was like the worst dark ages in the life of america history yes i said it the obama age was the worst of the united states the dark ages and that had he had not just transformed america as he promised he the word you can substitute that word with obama destroyed america so that's why it's lawless and uh, I just uh, show a couple of clips that I, I stumble onto I was like oh my god my faucet is broken ah uh, what I'm gonna do um so uh, anyways I taped a couple of those uh, news clips and uh, California is getting worse and worse so not only uh, the bottom line is in California the Democrats is in every position so not only they want to and they have already done it successfully. That's why year after year they're elected, you see, because there's no voter ID required to vote. And then now they, they're allowing all these uh, uh, intruders. I, I'm telling you, I cannot go to a DMV. They're all uh, foreigners. Uh, and like I said, there's defecating on just on the grounds in our parking lot. It's, it's horrific. And I think that they even like, you know, cook animals on the lot. It is so frightening. And, uh, you know, I just uh, kind of stop into the one in Hollywood. I'm, like, scared. I'm, like, I'm out of here. You know, it is filthy. Um, so it's like a third world country. If you don't believe me, go look at it. Check out the Hollywood DMV. So they're all filled with these uh, uh, intruders and trying to get... So we're paying for their licenses and automatically register them to vote. And the irony is we cannot protect ourselves. And now the so-called homeless are down the streets. And then, ironically, after the Democrats that taxed us and uh, you know again they make it sound good so they raise your taxes by putting on the ballot how about resolving the to help the homeless uh, uh, situation like, are you able or are we willing to raise another three percent or whatever on the city tax and that was in the ballot and I vehemently came against it I say trust me it's gonna get worse homeless situation is not gonna get better because they're fleecing they're taking the money and spend it on themselves. The administration is expensive because they're hiring their brothers and cousins. And this is what Democrats have done. And now, because we are angry. So they just said, uh, they just, this is ridiculous. They're saying, they say, oh, we're trying to save money from the overcrowding president. This is all excuses, right? Uh, so the voters has no right because any time that you vote, like we voted in California uh, of uh, marriage sanctities between man and woman. Oh yeah, we voted. And you know black folks, black community, they are more 
interested, enthused in defining the marriage between a man and a woman. Uh, truthfully, a that issue, but then a fucking judge just overturned it. All this is unconstitutional. I can't believe that. So Michael Savage ran into the same thing. You have to like, you, you work so hard, spend a lot of your flesh and blood and money collecting all these signatures and put it on the ballot so uh, they can get a vote. And then, oh, two months later, whoa, sorry, San Francisco liberal judge said, no, no, cinched, all gone. Just one person, tell me that's not tyranny. I love that, my flag. That's tyranny, okay? We're living in tyrannical ages because now they're coming after you, they're releasing, uh, they're actually giving money to release the prisoners. Uh, that's why I saw this uh, campaign for a guy named Early. Uh, I believe that since the Becerra is gonna run for the Senate and we're gonna have the Attorney General in uh, California vacancy. So vote for this guy Early. But I don't know, it might be too late. I really believe I heard it from God. I mean, I'm not crazy. So I'm, I even questioned God, are you serious? He said, I'm giving you back the land. I'm giving it, I'm giving it into your hands. So I'm praying, you know, I'm, I mean, literally you have to pray because he's giving it, it to us, but we have to do the battle and casting down the strongholds. Um, but I'm just saying, Lord, it looks really bleak. Because for every one of us that who are saying, who try to maintain some kind of sanity, uh, instead of getting all these illegals try to live off of us, I mean, not try to, they literally are invited uh, to come and invade our land. Yes, because for every one of us, there might be a hundred of them. We're outnumbered, Lord. Uh, I'm not God. I don't know how he does it. But I know that he does all these uh, wonderful things and he actually, he preferred that the weaker, because in the proof of Gideon in the old days, the less of his people, like uh, David and Goliath, the smaller, like, you know, the little ruddy kid, nah, uh, versus like this giant hulk, right? I cannot fathom, but, you know, I'm praying, praying today that the Lord will, he will answer the call. He will help me answer that call because he said that he's giving it back. That's what he said, okay? So I'm gonna challenge God. Either I don't think I hallucinated because I go, that's not possible, Lord. Look at this, I'm on the freeway, but every time I'm on 210, I hear that. It's, I go, look at this, like, like you know, no, there's no English language signs, and uh, when you go through Montreal Park, it's just like we're invaded. They're colonized by different community groups, and they're entrenched, entrenched, hunkered down, and they're getting their checks every month. How can we win, Lord? Uh, so that's up to the Lord. Anyway, so they're releasing uh, these so-called, they say we want to save money because it's overcrowded in California and the prison. Ha <laughs> ha! I would not be surprised because you have all these intruders and now they're going to release them. Uh, they said they're actually going to give them money to send them on the street because, you know, you can't just send, send somebody off the street and not give them any money because they've been in jail and, and we've been feeding them uh, behind bars. They can't go and get jobs. Because nobody's going to hire them, right? You know, if you're a sexual offender or whatever, nobody's going to hire you. So they're going to spend, they say, at least a $1,000 a piece to get them out of our prison system. And that's why this uh, uh, attorney general uh, uh, candidate, Early, I believe his name is uh, Eric Early, E-A-R-L-Y. So look him up. He's saying this is ridiculous because we can uh, actually... Uh, take uh, or what do you call parcel contract some of this prisoner if it's overcrowded uh, I don't want wonder why it's overcrowded hello <laughs> because you got all these people and then you're not prosecuting that coming intruded into our yards on front lines such as they kill Stan Stanley Case Stanley and there's there's dozens and dozens more I don't want to be one of them all right I'm fearful for my life if you want to know the truth and now it's invasion down here, just down here, uh, off a uh, supposedly nice neighborhood. There's now 10th city. So the money that they fleece, the Democrats fleece out of you, is really going to enrich, make him fatter and fatter. I, I, you know, I'm sorry, I have to, the truth hurts. That's the truth. Um, and if we don't unite, we will also become one of them, the, the casualties on the streets. And that's that. And like I said, the ridiculousness is 
Now they just passed this ordinance. It's crazy. So you cannot defend yourself. And worse than that, they're invoking this Big Brother spying the Orwellianism. Oh yeah. Oh, we go spy your neighbors. Shh, call this hotline, and we'll offer you a thousand dollars. Believe me, they probably won't give you the thousand dollars. So it's really iffy. They said, you know, if you suspect someone have illegal uh, guns. That's, who says illegal guns? Anyways, I saw the OAN, which is uh, originated out of San Diego. Uh, this is a news, uh, one American news channel in, uh, on Ledger. So look in Ledger interview, look at that video. I, I handheld it. So you better look. I handheld the whole thing in the middle of the night after the stupid sink broke. All right? Uh, but I was furious. I was just like, ah! Can you believe you're allowing these morons to run our lives to the ground into a muck? Uh, just can't run it, can't do it anymore. I just cannot, 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 cannot. Um, so this uh, uh, illegal being, uh, not, the, the prisoners being released onto the streets, and they said they're minor offenders. But do you know Becerra, this uh, uh, phony Democrat, uh, so-called Attorney General Becerra is now it's running for Senate and he was the one that that uh, uh, promoted and passed and th these are perversion uh, the legalization of child prostitution not pornography so child pr prostitution yeah if they say they're for children they're not all right so they're lying when they say DACA they're not uh, they're not children. Uh, anyways, if you're not on the border, you know uh, what I'm talking about. Because uh, these people, they're shrewd. If they want to invade, they're shrewd. They already think of the excuses. Then. And they said, they have no ID. Oh, we're being persecuted. Uh, well, I'm 16. But then, you know, men with beards and uh, they're still 16. So we're forced to take them. We don't know where they come from. I mean, who matched them up with whoever brought them. As if they think, oh, just with children. Remember, I was in Mexico, in Tijuana. They wore me. They warned me sternly they're going to be kids because they're sitting out there and with the little package of chiclets. So they go, oh, yeah, one peso, one peso. They go, oh, what's 10 cents? But, you know, if you don't have pesos, you're going to give them a dollar? Oh, shit. Trust me, next thing, I was fleeing for my life. There were 100,000 of them. They were climbing on me, and even their big brothers were coming after me. I was like, oh, my God, I should never have veered off from my little group. Uh, it wasn't a big group, but whatever. Anyways, so, uh, yeah, I gotta go get get my uh, uh, put in the best faucet in my bag. Uh, still alive, so that's a good thing. Thank you, Jesus, and happy Valentine. Um, oh, oh yeah, don't forget to click to donate.